welcome to the second part of the Shadewell Optimizer uh, Pipeline project description. In this video, I'll uh, talk about the production history matching part of the project. As uh, discussed in the first video, we have uh, production rates and pressures coming from the well model into the production history matching part of the project. If you go into uh, this part of the project, you can see the rates and pressures coming in here through the connectors and going into uh, this composite. You also have observed data in this composite. If you go into the observed data and have a look, you can see that we have three different files containing the observed or measured data from the well we're going to do match. We have one file containing the continuous measurement, like gas rates and pressures. And we have one uh, file containing uh, incremental fumes of oil, and another one containing incremental fumes of water. The reason why these are uh, put into three different files are that you'll seldom have a continuous measurement of the fluid, and uh, every time you, for instance, empty the oil tank, you just put in a new incremental fume number here, uh, and the same for the water. Uh, these input files are then uh, collated to be on a 10 time, 10 day time stepping basis, so that it can be uh, easily um, uh, compared with the model of this data. So uh, we have from this composite coming out these three files with a 10 uh, day time setting. We go up and see that the same is done for the model output. So that we have both the observed data and the model output on the same time setting basis. And then uh, both the observed data and the model output mm -hmm. is taken to uh, generate a plot where you can have a look at uh, the gas rates for the model and, and uh, the measured data and the oil uh, and the water here and the pressures. This data is also transported into the sum of squares composite, where the two are actually being compared against each other. If you go into this composite, you can see that you have a separate sum of squares calculation for all the different data types. And you end up with a single sum of squares number for all these data that represent how well the model fits. The, data. the history matching is uh, controlled through the optimizer interface. The optimizer has four different types of parameters. First, you have the auxiliary type uh, parameters. These are numbers uh, that you might want to change between history match, uh, matches that are kept constant during the optimization. Um, the second part, uh, type of numbers, is the variable. And these are numbers that are changed automatically during the history matching process. You select the starting point and an upper and lower bound for uh, the variable. The third part is the objective. In this case, the objective is to minimize the sum of squares. And you can select if you want to minimize or maximize uh, down at the bottom. The last type of uh, number you can bring into the optimizer is the constraint. You can also select which type of solver you want to use during the history matching process from this pull down menu. Here we have uh, a selection of built-in solvers that come shipped with pipe 
or you can have uh, plugins that you can program if you like. The last thing I want to mention about uh, the optimizer interface is the maximum number of iterations that you specify down at the bottom. This is uh, this defines how many times you'll let uh, the Python project be launched during the optimization process. In this case, we've set it to a low number of 10. There are two ways of uh, launching uh, the underlying project from the optimizer, either by running it once or clicking the optimize button. When you click run once, as I just did, the underlying project will start running and it will only run once with the selected values for uh, those series and the variables that you're setting. When the project finishes, uh, the results are pulled into the history window, where you get the collection of all the cases being launched through the optimizer with all uh, the numbers available in the optimizer are being collected. And when the project has finished, this plot is automatically pulled up. Uh, if we want to do uh, a full history matching, uh, I'll just first disable the plot so it won't appear every time the project is launched. And we can go back into the uh, optimizer interface. And since you, as you saw, we now have a perfect fit. And but we could change, uh, for instance, the uh, permeability to something different and try to run a history matching from there and see if it gets to what we know to be three answers of triple O one. Now the permeability is changed, and to start the optimization, click the optimize button. As you can see, the project is now being launched in the background. And the uh, project will continue to be launched with different uh, values for the variable selected by the optimizer until it either converges or the maximum number of iterations is reached. And every time the project is launched and finishes, the results are kept into the uh, into the history window, where you get all the different parameters. What we're mainly interested in here now is the sum of squares and the permeability that's being changed to minimize the sum of squares. As you can see now, the optimizer has been running for uh, nine iterations. And as you can see, uh, the sum of squares is just gradually uh, getting smaller. And this is matching is coming to the end with the maximum 10 iterations that we set up. After um, the 10 iterations has finished, the optimizer will rerun the best case. In this case, uh, it seems like it was iteration number three. Um, and then you'll have uh, the model uh, or the project current with, uh, with the best case. Uh, so it's about to finish now. And you can see, even though uh, we only let the history matching go on for 10 iterations. We're ending up with a uh, reasonably good answer. Now it has finished, and we can always go back and rerun the plot to see how good the match actually is. Now the plot is we plotting, we don't have to rerun the model since it's currently uh, at the best situation. And here is the result. Pretty good hit of the gas rate and the oil and the water is zero here. And the pressure is matched. So that's it.
for the history of matching part of the project. The next video will uh, discuss the well-defined optimization part.